Hello friends. Many of you probably know that I have played guitar for a lot of years and uh, that I got to serve as a worship leader for many years as well. And it's one of my great loves. Jesus found me in part through music and it's been an absolute joy and privilege to hopefully lead others into his presence through music as well. Now, can I confess something to you? When I walk into a church service, I can immediately hear if the guitar player is out of tune. And there are few things in this world as painful to me as an out-of-tune guitar, especially when the person doesn't seem to notice. <laughs> it's like fingernails on a chalkboard to me, and it just sticks out like crazy to me. Now here's a funny thing. If you and I took 10 guitars, and we tuned each of those guitars to itself, so if we based the tuning on, say, where the low E string already was, we could tune those guitars pretty decently to themselves. But they would sound horrible together. Horrible. On the other hand, if we take those 10 guitars and tune each of them to an external and absolute standard of what the right notes are and the wavelengths they function at, those 10 guitars can play together perfectly. In fact, we can increase that number to 100, to 1,000 guitars even. Then we'll end up being like the Eagles or something with a whole bunch of guitars on stage. Here's the point. Each of us is running around in this world, and our natural tendency is to be tuned to our own hearts, to our own minds, to our own desires, our own ideals, our own hopes, dreams, fears, all of that. And we may find a few others like us, but overall we're going to clash with people. We won't be able to play in harmony with others. But if each of us tunes our hearts to the absolute truth of who Jesus is, who he has called us to be, if we surrender to him and let him remake us more and more in his image, well then we will live in better and better harmony with those who do the same. And I also believe we'll be able to bear with love and patience with those who are far from God and still living in tune with their own hearts. Among other things, in Romans 12, verse 16, Paul tells the people to live in harmony with one another. And I would contend to you that the only way to do that is by living a life surrendered and open to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. When we do that, we will find true harmony with other believers and we'll find true peace and patience and joy in this world around us. So my friends, this day, may you walk in the light of Jesus and be the light to the world around you.